Hello everybody, in this Rhino 7 video demo, I would like to talk about the matching of trim surfaces. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this demo will require the viewer to have an essential understanding of surface continuity principles. And if you are not aware of this subject, you might want to click on this label over here to go to relevant videos. Okay, now let's head back to this viewport again. What I'm going to do next is to perform a match surface. I want to match this edge to this and we can do so by using the surface tools match surface. Okay, so I can click on this and then this and you notice that I'm able to perform a match. And if you're familiar with this command, you know that you need to select the relevant continuity, mainly position, tangent or curvature and then the relevant parameters to achieve your result okay now let me trim away this region of the surface using this curve and see whether we can do the match again okay so i'm going to click on the trim command cutting object is this okay object to trim the region to trim is here okay and then let's try to do the match again okay you notice that i'm not able to select this edge now why is that so okay let's turn on the control points okay the reason for not being able to perform a match for this edge is because as we can see when we have the control points turned on the actual topology or the arrangement of control points have remained unchanged okay that means to say the actual edge of this surface is still along here okay and what are the ways that we can address the matching of trim surfaces okay there are many two tools that we can look into namely the string trim surface to edge and the refit trim surface edge okay let's talk about this string trim surface to edge first okay okay let me do a right mouse click over this icon to perform the string trim surface to edge and you notice that if i will select this surface press enter the control points has been readjusted so that they encapsulate the extreme boundaries of the surface okay however you notice that in this case these control points are not really aligned to the actual edge okay and if we were to do the match surface again we will not be able to perform it okay So, what are the circumstances that we can use this string trim surface to edge? Okay, the string trim surface to edge can be used in situation where the trims are along the iso curve directions. Okay, let me do a demo. Okay, let me do a, a undo to bring back the original surface. Okay, we're going to use the curve, curve from objects, extract ISO curve to place a curve on the surface that is uh, following the ISO curve directions. Okay, and if I were to perform a trim now, let's turn on the control points. Okay, and do the string trim surface to edge. Enter. You notice that the control points are now aligned along this trim edge. Okay. Under this kind of circumstances, if you were to do a match surface, 
okay it will work okay it will work okay so we can see from this demo that the string trim surface to edge will work if the trims are along the iso curve directions okay let me bring back the original surface and do the trim again okay now let's turn on control points again and execute this uh, refit trim surface edge okay I can go into click on this and then it will prompt me to select a trim surface edge okay before that let's set the delete input to yes okay so I'm going to click on this and you'll notice that the beauty of this command is that the control points has been readjusted so that they are fully aligned to the trim surface you can see that the edge and the new set of control points are actually aligned okay and if we were to perform the match surface again it will work now okay so this is a very beautiful tool for resolving the matching of trim surface that are not along the iso curves directions okay with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful to you see you bye